Good morning, everybody. I am just having breakfast in the balcony. It's currently 7.49 a.m. on a Tuesday. Oh, I've got a bruise. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I woke up around like 6.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. And just quickly showered. Yeah, I think I'll probably catch up with you guys after I eat breakfast. So, see you later. just finished breakfast and I've had coffee as well in the balcony. I spent majority of the morning just relaxing and I journaled as well after I easily finished two pages worth of my entry. Um, just kind of reflecting upon like the past week and so much has happened already and I can't wait to like share it with you guys because I guess it's good to start off with I was kind of going through a little a little sad bubble I guess I kind of let my thoughts get in the way but I managed to get myself out of it and I'm feeling much better things like work has helped as well I've I feel more productive more focused and journaling has really helped me with that because I got to take everything out of, from my head to the paper and I get to see it visually, <laughs> I get to see my thoughts visually on paper and realize, you know, there are some things you can't really do anything about and it's okay to just understand that things will get better. And also for things that do make me worry and there is something I can do to help, I've started making these changes such as waking up a bit earlier, you know, I don't expect myself to wake up 5 a.m. or whatever crazy time. But naturally, my body does wake up around 6 or 6.30 a.m. Mainly because of the cats, they'll wake up and, well, they'll start meowing around that time and then I just naturally wake up. And if it's not that, then I just naturally wake up. It's The only thing is I would tend to stay in bed and just go on my phone until like, 7 7 30 when i start getting ready before work but usually i'll just only have enough time to get ready and quickly eat and then start work um so i wanted to kind of implement a morning routine where i actually got to have more time to, to myself where i get to maybe journal sit outside watch a youtube video if i wanted to or even like catch up with some friends <laughs> And that's what I've been doing and it has already helped me a lot mentally. And it's only been a few days as well, so I can't wait to see where it heads and where and how much it helps me, I guess. But yeah, there's that. I went into a tangent, but I did also want to 
kind of start talking to new people like i had this urge to start talking to new people i felt like there's a part of me that missed the old me back in uni where i was just always talking to different people and meeting new people i think i really did miss that so i <laughs> made a post one night in asian creative network it's like this page on facebook where so many asian creatives um wait well so there's so many creative asians basically in this page um and they all come from different countries doing different things some are like high up in the industry some are just starting off um and some are just there because they they have a hobby like you know we're all in different backgrounds different levels of careers and different kind of hobbies and it's amazing to kind of connect with people like that so i decided to create a post and i'll probably pop it here for you to read what i said <laughs> uh and it took a few days for it to be approved by the ad the, by the people who kind of like uh manage the page so one night i was literally ready to go to sleep and i was in bed i started getting notifications um a lot of notifications of people liking my post and i was like what so i i went to look and so many people liked my post and so many people commented and reached out um, and messaged me that night and i was so happy i was just like what what the hell i didn't expect it you know like yeah i got to talk to a lot of people i don't know what to, <laughs> i don't know what to say it was it was a big surprise and after going through a bit of a rough patch in my head like something like that that happened really did help me get back on track i felt very blessed and the fact that so many people like reached out and responded and they were all so sweet and nice as well so i felt like i knew i wasn't the only one going through this you know i'm sure it's normal and everybody goes through this at some point but it was nice to be in the same page as some people you know like understand that it's completely normal and it's okay to not have good days but yeah now i'm still in contact with two of the girls that i became friends with who popped up so one of them is michelle uh, and she's from chicago and i actually did facetime her for the first time yesterday so it was nice to like catch up with her and like speak to her and it was so weird because it was our first time like facetiming someone not in the same country so yeah it was nice and then i also became friends with trixie who also is filipino but she's based in manila, manila sorry so it was nice to become friends with another filipina but yeah and not only that but i've started to reconnect with old friends like angel we were super close friends all throughout secondary school in sixth form and then she moved to japan to teach and she's currently still in japan um but yeah for for the longest time we didn't really talk much but now we casually pop up from time to time and and it was really nice and the same with millie so yeah me and millie we were me millie and del were really close friends as well during university she also moved to korea to teach and for me i'm so happy for both of them honestly like for angel i knew she wanted to do this since we were in second school for for mill i'm happy that she's moved abroad and she's enjoying her life in korea and i know that they're both doing really well so i'm, I'm just happy for that you know when you're so happy when you see your friends thrive it's things like this yeah and i just want the best for everybody so <sighs> my heart feels so whole guys I feel like my wishes have come true. <laughs> Reconnecting with old friends and meeting new friends, it's crazy. You guys should journal. <laughs> That's all I can say. Anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. Who knows what I'll be doing next. Bye-bye. No, no.
let's not drink this anymore. <laughs> Hi guys, I finished work. It's like 5.40 something p.m. Um, I decided to just walk home. It's like 45 minutes. I was gonna do it this morning, but I, did. I ended up just getting the Uber instead. But the weather's quite nice. So I'm gonna make the most out of it. I'm probably gonna stop over to a shop before I go home. Maybe buy some tuna for the cats. Uh, and some snacks for me or whatever but yeah see you later when I get home <sighs> bye hi guys I'm back home so I ended up shopping at Tesco on the way and I still had like 20 minutes to walk, but it was so heavy, I ended up getting the Uber, which is a bit of a fail. But yeah, I'm just gonna disinfect all the items. It's not something I used to do, but like since COVID, I've just started doing it now. I just, just do it because why not? Ooh, I think Hospital Playlist should be out. <gasps> I can watch that tonight as well with AG and Del. Oh yeah, I think I might also buy a few books um, from abebooks.co.uk, I don't know. That's the website that Dell recommended me. Um, it's kind of like a secondhand bookstore and I've actually made already like a list that I want to buy. I think four in total just to start off with because I don't read. <laughs> I haven't read in so long and I'm such a slow reader so four is already a lot for me to be fair um which is really bad and i'm not really proud of saying that but you gotta start off with something i guess they're all like self help self-development self-care books like they're kind of like suggestions and recommendations from like friends um i have a few more that i think mill uh, recommended as well 
So I'll go check that out and see if I swap whatever over because I don't want to buy too many books and then I don't end up going through them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to shower after and eat. I just cooked rice. It's going to take maybe 30 minutes or so. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Oh no. <laughs> he knows how to jump on the counter. Oh. oh, we've got a problem now. I won't be able to cook when he's around because he literally jumped on the hob just earlier. Hey! <sighs> My goodness. And Del's over at Della Rams, her sister's, so I'm just chilling by myself for now. Oh my gosh. I'm just eating leftover chicken soup that Del made. So good. Her chicken soup is always so good. Let me show you. Ta da! Oh my god, why is my hand shaking? I'm gonna FaceTime Michelle later just to catch up. But I felt bad because she's working, so um, I think she'll call in like half an hour or something. There's gonna be a lot of fun things happening in September. It's my dad's birthday on the 10th, it's AG's birthday on the 18th, and it's our four year anniversary on the 29th as well. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go for a nice meal. Um, nothing too fancy or anything. Um, but yeah. Four years, you know. It goes by so fast. Okay, I'm gonna finish my food. So I'll see you again. Bye-bye. I'm so sad it didn't record us um, talking the whole time, but here's a little clip of me and Michelle catching up. I'm just gonna take a break, um, my lunch break even, before my next appointment for work. Tomorrow, me and Del will be going to Harborn um, to go thrift shopping and then have lunch at Damasina. Uh, so that will be nice. And then we'll probably head back to town uh, if we aren't successful with any shop thrift shopping in the charity shops. And we'll go check out a few more in the city center. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Plus, do you like this cardigan? I barely really wear it. It's like a little crop top situation from Zara. One last thing. Oh, I think this is the last one. Let me take a picture of my cat. Okay, now it's done. It's just like ongoing. Cool.
Good morning, everybody. It is 9.18 a.m. Um, I just showered and I spent the morning kind of cleaning my closet. I woke up like around 6 a.m. Um, and just decided to get up. So today, me and Del will be going to Harborn and go thrift shopping. I'm probably gonna go buy some groceries as well okay she gave me this top <laughs> i'm going all black today but i'm just gonna put some makeup on and then pop out for a bit to buy some of yoko and coco's food because it's not arriving until next week i think and they've run out already so yeah mommy duties it's really dark because of the door. I think it's blocking the light. Is that better? Yeah. I'm gonna finish putting my makeup on and I'll let my hair dry. And then I'm gonna go eat breakfast, journal before I go. Um, and I'll take you guys along with us today. It'll be fun. Me and Del haven't actually gone out out to do these kind of things together in such a long time. Um, so it'll be nice. And I think we're gonna go have lunch somewhere in Harborn as well. I think we're gonna go to Damasina. So I'm excited. But yeah. See you later. Bye bye. Yeah. 